come to work with me as a bartender at a strip club. Okay, I'm coming. Good morning. I am bartending today, so I'm getting ready. The hair, not good. The face card, we're getting there. So lately, I don't know why this has been my thing, but lately I've been falling asleep on the couch, like intentionally. Like, I don't know what it is, but those naps hit on that couch. Like, I just don't know what it is. And last night, I just couldn't sleep. And it got to the point where it was like 3 a.m. And I know I had to be up early in the morning. So I was like, I'm just going to the couch. Fuck it. I'm just going. Fine. Last night, me and Bay, we went on, oops. We went on a little date night. My flowers are actually up there. They're really pretty. I will show you in a minute. <sighs> but yeah, I just never know. Today's Monday, by the way. Did I say that? I never know like what Mondays are going to, you know, I don't know what they're going to bring me. Honestly, I've always taken Sunday, Monday off of work. Even when I worked in an office, I usually had Sunday, Monday off. Running errands on a Monday or I used to love Mondays. I still do, but like, I work Mondays now, so it's like the love is just a little bit different. Also, I know this looks like a lot right now, but it's really not because this is like a, a spatula. So it's like, you know, the product, it's all there. And this is like, you know, this is basically like a BB cream. This is the uh, Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator formula or whatever. People have asked me before what I wear. This is pretty much the only foundation that I wear. It's not even a foundation. It's, a, it's like a BB cream basically, but I like it. It works for me. So that's the tea on that. Oops. Sometimes I forget that I have eyeshadow on. I'll be at work like fucking like rubbing my eyes and I'm like, shit, I just messed up everything. I've literally done that because I just forget. Something that's kind of been on my mind lately is the lack of sex appeal for some of you lovely women that work in the club, whether you are a waitress, a stripper, a bartender, door girl, like whatever your position may be. Some of you bitches really lack sex appeal. Like you're in this club, like F you pay me, I need money, I got bills don't talk to me unless you're trying to pay me blah, blah blah which I get it because I'm not trying to do anything for free at the strip club like I'm not trying to talk to you do anything like you know obviously it's it's all like a business transaction like obviously you're going to get paid for whatever but they don't need to know that you're killing the illusion that you're here for fun okay like once you sell that fantasy of I, listen, everybody's different. Everybody has like a different like persona at work. Some people don't even have a persona at work. They're just straight up themselves. And I think that's kind of like, I don't know. Like me, I am not the same whenever I am at work because I have a persona and it's like an on and off switch. Like I don't mean to do it. It just happens. And, you know, like I just kind of have this, um, you know, like, it just kind of seems like, oh, I'm just here for fun. Like, I don't know, like, whatever. Because they think that I want to talk to them. And so it works. They're like, oh, like, you don't have to be here. Like, oh, like, what's your day job type of thing. Even as a bartender, they're just kind of like, oh, you're just, you're just here like two days a week. Like, oh, what else do you do? Like, they, they think that I'm literally loving it and that I love this conversation right now. And they're tipping me more because they think that it's real. So sometimes you bitches kill the fantasy by being like, I got bills to pay. We know that. We all do. But you telling them that is just literally killing it. Okay? It's killing the mood. Stop showing your whole personality at the club. There will be times where I'm literally giving a lap dance and a customer will be like, so what do you do for a living? Like, what do you do? Like, what's your job? I'm literally giving a lap dance. And they're like, so what, do you, what is your job? What do you do for a living? That's how I know I'm selling the fantasy correctly because they forget I'm literally getting paid for this and I do this full time. But I have this illusion 
that it's just like it's because some men really think that like some men really think like oh I'm in the strip club because like I want the attention I love being around men and it's like woo like, I don't know some some guys really really think that and I'm, I'm not even being funny it's the truth and that's good because the more they think that the more you will get paid and whether you do it full time or not um don't tell them that tell them like if they ask you like what do you do for a living like what like you know what else do you do outside of this tell them you have a full-time job at wherever because the moment they know that this is your full source of income and you're giving a lap dance now they think like oh like you're making money because you need to now you need me now i'm doing you a favor by buying lap dances from you it's like no you're not doing me no favors steven there's been times where the club was really slow and obviously nobody's making money if the club is slow or, you know, it depends, whatever. But that's not the point. It's slow and nobody's making money and there's a customer in the club and every girl has gone to him like, do you want to dance? Do you want to dance? Do you want to dance? And he's like, no. None of them are taking the time to like sit and talk with him because they're kind of just like, F you pay me type of attitude. So there's, uh, there's been times where I would go up to the customers and be like, instead of complaining that it's slow and I'm not making money, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm so bored. I just need someone to talk to. Like, let's just, you know, have a conversation, have fun. They love that shit. They're probably bored too because all the bitches are in a bad mood. All I'm saying is we all got bills to pay, but stop acting like it in the strip club. They don't need to know that. They're trying to escape reality. You know what I mean? Like they hear about the bills with their wives. They don't need to hear it from you. I'm pretty much done with my makeup. I just have to put on my eyelashes and then I'm gonna do my hair and then I'll be back. Real quick though, here are my beautiful roses. Oh, so pretty. Good morning. <laughs> Everyone's Hi, like, baby. hi. I'm so glad that you're a morning person. <laughs> what did you say, so glad what? I'm glad you're a morning person. Oh. Well, I wasn't until I started working this shift. But, uh, really? Well, I used to, yeah, it just depends, but I used to be a morning person, then I worked nights for like 15 years. Well, but then you I'm wake up in the afternoon. My, now I'm back to my morning, used to it. Back on to your BS. Hello, good morning. Well, Say hello, huh? You always have that in your hand, don't you? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Uh, say hello to your um, wives. Wow. Your wives. your. Is that a <laughs> wow. What is up with you in prenups lately? Every time I've seen you, you guys, literally, every time I've seen him for the past like two weeks, you've mentioned prenup. <laughs> what is up with you? What? Yeah. The fact that you mention a prenup is is like okay. Mm -hmm. You make me feel suspicious. Like Don't okay. Suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Oh, should I start, should I clock in? I kind of work here, don't I? <laughs> Technically. Technically speaking, I am an employee. Hey, when are we going to have an employee of the month party for me? Oh, hey, what? Employee of the month party for I me. I haven't had mine yet. Why would you have one? Uh, <laughs> I think I've been employed here now for like a month. So I think it's, I think it's time. When I worked at a call center and I had to be at work at six in the morning, everyone hated me because I was, I mean, I'm just a morning person. So like I would come to work at six in the morning, actually like 5.30 so I can like have breakfast and stuff over there. But I would come to work super early, hair and makeup done, of course. And I'm like in a good mood, like, good morning. Everybody's like, what's your deal? And I'm like, um, I don't know. Like I'm in a good mood. People keep asking me if I stopped stripping completely. Uh, and the answer is no. I've just honestly been busy like with go-go dancing and uh, bartending that I I haven't actually, but I plan to this week and the following, like the rest of the month basically because I'm not go-go dancing as much this month. So I will prioritize that. Um, plus I wanna go shopping like tomorrow. So whatever I make today, I'm just gonna use it to go shopping because even though it's cold as fuck today, I need more summer clothes. It's almost that time. I've never had to make coffee for anybody else until I started working here. 
And like I'm real particular about my coffee, so I'm always kind of like nervous that I'm gonna mess it up. It was a really good weather weekend. Even my doctor told me, like I had my doctor's appointment on Friday. My doctor was like, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the weather, cause it's gonna get cold. And I'm like, okay, first of all, do you just like watch the weather news every morning? Because I just, I just wake up and I'm just surprised usually. So, oh, I was gonna show you guys what I'm wearing, which is nothing exciting. I've worn it before. I'm taking off my Faja right now. My body was so sore, like going back to work on Friday after like a long week of just being in bed resting, like, cause I was pretty much sick. My body was sore. Okay, outfit of the day. What do you rate my outfit, Fred? A 10? You're in a good mood today. Okay, we're off to a good start. Wow. When I say weak ass, you say bitch. Weak ass. Shut up. Come on. <laughs> weak ass. Shut your face. I'm working it. I'm working it, all right? Weak ass. <laughs> come on. Dude, he's so boring today. Like, come on, it's Monday. Let's do some festivities. Dude, if I were to describe today in one word, I would say chaotic. Chico, if you were to describe today in one word, how would you describe it? Kind of boring. <laughs> well, I'm glad it was boring for you. I felt like it was chaotic. Okay, I just got home. I got some stuff in the mail. I'm actually, oops. <laughs> I'm actually really excited about this. This is like a, a neck fan. Um, one of the other go-go dancers has this. And I'm like, wait, that's actually genius. Because I have that like one handheld fan and it works really great, but like whenever I'm go-go dancing and you have like 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off, if I'm trying to fix my hair or makeup, I don't have time to like hold the fan. You know what I mean? I mean, I might even wear this while I'm dancing. Sometimes it gets really hot. So I'm real excited about it, but I also got a yoga mat. I told you guys, I think like in my last video that I was getting a yoga mat so I can like stretch. Oop. It keeps falling. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I can stretch and like get more flexible or whatever. But these are the tips I made today, bartending, um, which I haven't counted. And whenever I say like, oh, I haven't counted yet, it's because I haven't counted yet. Or if I say like, oh yeah, it's, it was a good day and I haven't counted. I mean like I counted, but I just didn't count it with you guys. So I don't know. We have, oh, okay, three tw three twenties, okay. And like two fives and the rest are ones. So. I don't know. Seems pretty all right. Seems pretty good. Not complaining. Whatever it is, I already know. I'm grateful. I already know I'm going to be good with whatever it is. So I'm going to charge these up. I think I'm actually going to order pizza. Like my neighbors, they have their domino box outside. And I'm like, not a bad idea, friend. Not a bad idea, friend. Ooh. So I'll keep you updated on these. What if I bedazzle them? I got black so I can maybe like hopefully blend it in with my hair because if I do get hot, I will dance with those on. And I don't care. Anyway, I'm gonna charge these up. Probably gonna order some dominoes. Tomorrow I will probably vlog again because I do wanna go shopping. I do wanna go like buy some more boots, buy some more outfits. I don't know, we'll see. But I, if I do do that, I will take you guys along with me. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.